I can't believe that I found Clock Tower just by the random chance of seeing it in a game store for a super jacked up price. And then it's got so much admiration and yeah. stuff. Like, I looked at the cover and I just, you know, it's... The one that I saw was the PlayStation game. It had the scissors behind the guy's back and the girl's terrifying clock tower. I'm just like, yeah, what the? Why does this guy with gigantic scissors run? It just how weird, you know. To me, it was like, okay, here's another Japanese uh, horror game that is just what WTF should be the title, you know. A lot of the synopsis and scenarios. In JRPGs, Japanese horror games and stuff are just like the most ridiculous nightmare fuel that you could have. So, like, you know, a leprechaun running around with scissors. Oh, is he a leprechaun? Is that what? No, oh, but okay. Okay. I think Thomas Horton referred to him yeah. as a leprechaun. Was that who <laughs> yeah, did, said I, that? I think or, so, in the comments. Yeah. yeah. But, so that stuck with you. It stuck with me because that's a fair representation of... Well, I knew about Clock Tower. Chad had played it a little bit. Um, didn't make it to the Scissorman. Scissorman. The Scissorman. So, yeah. Anyway, is that what we're going to refer to him as? Scissorman. Um, since I watched John Tron, um, I actually got to see the, the little the Scissorman. small Scissorman. And I did not expect him to be small. I expected him to be gigantic. Time out. Shorty. <laughs> Shorty is like lip see. flap. His jowls were wrapped around my forearm. Like yeah, we that's have how babies he was on resting. both sides. Yep. Shorty is right here off screen. He likes to hide. He's very rare. Well, he's just so short. Are you the scissorman? You little tiny stocky. I'm gonna dog? have to like Is Shorty the scissorman? Are you the scissorman? Shorty. Scissorman Shorty. Look over here at the people. Shorty, what is? He said, forget them. I don't need them. Okay. I find it really cool that both JonTron and Internet Historian have put out videos about Clock Tower because they seem to also find it as hilarious as I do. At least JonTron did. And mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what Internet Historian has done with this. So on story it mode... It'll be very interesting. Yeah, I think it will be. On story mode... He has two videos about Clock Tower, one which just came out here recently, mm -hmm. and another one that's been out for a little while. So, um, I didn't know that. We put out the JonTron video, and someone in the comments was like, well, now you're going to have to go watch the Internet Historian. And yeah. I was like, what? Or what? story mode. Um, so we're going to start with part one, because I feel like if we don't watch part one, it'll be weird. So we're yeah. going to watch just part one and part two. So three Clock Towers for halloween, halloween. <laughs> yeah now we've got to play it or yeah. at least attempt to yeah so just a whole trilogy here a whole trilogy yeah a good one not the disney star wars one. Oh my gosh anyway okay are you ready i'm ready one Dong. take i'm a busy man clock tower 1995 Dong. the story is set in Rolms day norway it's in norway in 1995 there's an orphan four orphans jennifer laura lot and Anne. they've all been adopted by a man mr simon barrows four adolescent girls all right the girls are on their way to a new home and miss mary is escorting them there mr barrows home is a huge mansion with a clock tower Dong. attached to it how ominous the girls are left alone while miss mary goes and fetches their new adoptive father mr barrows after a while the girls start to feel uneasy though Ooh, something's wrong here miss mary has been gone for a very long time when she doesn't return jennifer goes out to the hall to look for her she has a scream for the main hallway ah and when she returns the other girls have all disappeared what's going on here it's a mystery she searches the mansion for her friends she goes into the bedroom and releases a bird from its cage all of a sudden it starts attacking her for no reason it says i'll get you i'll get you or something near to it hard to make out with the sound quality it flies around the room swoops and stuff until she catches it with a blanket then she walks over to the dresser as a total non sequitur and looks at herself in the mirror who am i what am i uh, an arm oh it's coming out of the mirror that's pretty spooky uh and she picks up a photo frame off the dress another non sequitur it looks like two baby boys but their faces have been scratched out double mystery she finds a bottle of perfume glug 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 it <laughs> smells like miss mary she takes it she goes to the bathroom the water has been left running what a waste and the room is full of steam she pulls back the curtain and Laura is in there. She's oh. been moited. And it doesn't moited. look... Moited. This doesn't look like an accident at all. Uh, this is not good. I'm just trying to think of a stupid line for... Wait a minute, this can't be an accident. There's no 
soap or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Suddenly, a boy can no longer hold his breath and he jumps out of the water with a giant pair and says, Run, Jennifer. Yep. She starts running and hides under a bed. The boy is dumb, so it works. He doesn't see her and she... He leaves. Non sequitur time. She spies a bird's nest in a hallway. The nest is full of delicious eggs and junk, oh. but also there's a key to the west wing, not that west wing. Then she goes to an open storage room and finds a black robe packed away in a crate. She takes it for no reason. Also, this can of insecticide. I hope that comes in handy later. Breed. Back down the hallway, she opens a locked door to the west wing key. She hears a scream from outside. Ugh, she looks out the window. Ah, oh, it's Anne. She's falling out of the window. That's the worst. Oh my god. Another oh non sequitur time. Oh my she god. enters a room and it feels as though she's being watched. She finds a ceremony key down by the clown. Hanging from the ceiling is a French doll. The French doll starts to make music. It drops from the ceiling and starts floating through the air. Kind of spooky. It what flies towards fuck? Jennifer and knocks her to the ground. She loses three teeth. In the next oh, room, the fireplace has been lit. <sighs> uh, Jennifer finds a lantern on the desk. and uh, There's just stuff happening. Just stuff happening. She picks up stuff. It's the room where Anne died. Moided. Down the stairs, she <laughs> enters the room. It's covered in blood. Something good happened here. There are dead crows hanging on the wall. Another good sign. Respect the drip, Karen. Jennifer can hear a live crow in a cage. She finds the key to the cage and sets it free. Thank you. One of the hallways has a huge crack in the floor to get across it. Jennifer must lay a plank of wood. That's my sound effect. Next to the <laughs> statue, she finds a demon idol. Uh, she enters another mostly empty room. One of the crates starts to rattle. And ju out jumps the boy with the scissors. I mean, oh. He runs after her. Uh, Jennifer runs chopsticks. over the plank of wood downstairs. That came in it handy. Down with the crows. Yeah, no. <gasps> and look at that. The crows are on her side now. Ah. And chases the scissor man away. She goes over to a crate and moves it out of the way because she sees that the wall there looks kind of weird. Hmm. Grabbing a stick, she bashes at it and smashes the wall down. Please Who would ever know to do this? There's you a know? room hidden behind it that hasn't been used in a long time. Of course it hasn't been used. There's no f***ing door. It's dark <laughs> and the air is stagnant. And there are telly marks. And like a dead telly? person or telly. something? Telly. Telly. Telly is A. Telly is A. Telly. There are telly marks cut into the wall. It looks like someone was counting the days. How would they know what the day is? There's no light in here. Anyway, on the wall is a medical chart. Jennifer reads it, and it says Mary and Mr. Barrow's names. On the floor is another medical chart. Why wouldn't it just be on the same medical chart? Anyway, it says the birth of twins. It looks like Miss Mary is actually Mrs. Mary, and it's actually Mr. Barrow's wife. I mean, it's not that great of a plot twist, but all right. And that the boy that's been trying to kill her must be one. One of her twins uh. so they adopted these four girls so that he could have a gf what are you doing step bro by the chart is a black medical bag belonging to walter simpson <gasps> jennifer's father oh Jennifer looks up from the darkness to see the corpse of her father in the corner of the room. Oh, I thought it was Mr. Barrett's. It's Jennifer's father. Uh, no. At least they got a reunion. He's holding a memo. It was written on October 1986, nine years ago. It says that he was called to a house to deliver twins. He calls the twins demons. After being born, they ate his right hand. What right? The and they were both ill and deformed and shouldn't have lived. He says that he has trouble breathing and he tells the reader where the twins can be found. His last words are, Jennifer. Jennifer. Why not something more useful? Anyway, <laughs> Jennifer goes back downstairs to some ceremony room. On the altar is a... Celadon vase? Does anyone know what that is? No, you don't. A crow yeah. corpse with a severed neck and some strange symbols on it say, Time will cause... Adherence. It's very ominous. There is an iron disc with a cross carved into it. She takes the demon idol and, and puts it on the altar. She hears a noise and a hole has opened up in the floor. There's a ladder which Jennifer goes down and she goes down into the hole. Walking away from her is a woman in a black robe. There's a guard dog asleep on the floor. It growls at Jennifer. She puts on the black robe and with the with the perf she's imitating that woman. Ah, struts on by. The dog doesn't understand what's going on, it's dumb. On the ground, surrounded by cameras. Is Lot. She's still alive. Yay. She says, the switches in the clock tower. Yeah. Then dies of what? I don't know. Lupus. <laughs> Moving Lupus. through the catacombs, Jennifer finds a can of kerosene. Glug, 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 glug. She comes up to a red curtain area. She peeks oh, yeah. through the curtain, and an yep. enormous fat blob creature is behind it. 
yeah. it crawls after. Is this the other twin? I guess Through that's the, the other water twin, and yeah. up the embankment oh. where she came from. She throws the can of kerosene and it explodes on the fat Bang! Thing. The earth starts to shake, and Jennifer finds the elevator and gets out of there. She goes up to the third floor of the clock tower. It's a strange green room, and inside it is the boy with the scissors. He runs after Jennifer, <gasps> up the ladder to a balcony where she flips two switches, and just like Lot told her to, the boy drops his scissors and covers his ears. It's some sort of terrible song. He falls over the edge of the railing and probably dies, unless there's a sequel. Is there a sequel? <laughs> yes. He doesn't die. Oh, it gets hotter in the sequel, baby. And attacks you. You killed my boy. I loved him like a son, but she gets knocked back into the generator oh, and electrocuted. Mm. Crispy. You stare off into the distance from the clock tower. Dong. You have just inherited a massive mansion. Hooray. Anyway, depending on which path through the game you take, there are multiple endings. Uh, all of your friends could die, one might survive, or whatever. I'm not going through it all. You'll just have to take my word for it. The end. There you Dong. go. There was a lot more detail about the actual game storyline in this video yeah. than in the JonTron one. The he, JonTron kind of just like showed it and showed like some of the gameplay and yeah. stuff, but it ran through so quickly that I was like lost. I was like, is that the guy who adopted them? Yeah. And then I thought there was only one girl that was adopted, and so I was really confused by well, the He pretty much was just grilling the game, and, right. you know, it was more of a parody of it. This was just like, oh, by the way, Quick this is what through. fucking happens yeah. in this game. Yeah. yeah. Which I appreciate. It's definitely explained very well. Explained. Um, and and I, I, I was interested to learn about, like, Jennifer's dad being the guy in the yeah, room. Yeah, like and, the doctor. Like, who actually delivered delivered them. The, and so that is a little devil boy child thing Two. but then Two. there's a massive devil boy child child thing which i don't i don't know if we would get that explanation even if we played the game why is like one a big smaller than herpes one blister huge? Oh, fucking rolling great. around but uh maybe let's get that that's awful it's grow a yeast infected cum bubble is what he looked like Woo! lord have mercy uh, so yeah gross for sure gross it was gross and also so the clock tower was the fucking thing the whole time yeah but like it didn't explain like why why did that bother him why yeah well and it works looked... against uh symbiote in spider-man so like oh, venom yeah. and carnage run away from the the noise of bells i learned that from spider-man the animated series actually yeah. um but that's the only other villain that I know that fucking a bell tower is going to take down. And so little Angus Young Leprechaun dude with the scissors. And then, and then it didn't explain why he had, why scissors? Why? Scissor I would be in, I, I think I just need too much detail to really understand. Scissorman and Blisterman. Well, Jeez. a lot of times in games like this, you know, the reach to the audience outside of the game they didn't have the ability unless there was this thick booklet with the game to like explain the backstory and everything or they would have to crunch a shit ton of dialogue into the game or yeah. whatever like which i'm sure they did just to make it work but it would have had to have been way more to explain every single detail of everything right. so these earlier games you know you had to um uh, just let the unknown be part of the experience. So there's a part two to this, and I'm just curious, is that the second game? Because they said that there was a yes, second game? Yes, I think it's the second one, Clock Tower 2, right? Oh, okay. I think that's the second game. I'm not sure if the Clock Tower for uh, the Super Nintendo is the same one that's on the PS1, uh, but we'll, we'll find out. I think that the PS1 version is just a port of uh, Clock know. Tower. I don't know what that means. But anyway, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Mm -hmm. I, they're just, I have all the respect in the world for these games because I understand how big of an impact they had on games that I really like. Like Resident Evil, you know, Dino Crisis, like I told you. <laughs> but just survival horror in general, you know. Um, Alone in the Dark. You got fucking 
Silent Hill. I mean, tons of stuff. Mm -hmm. But it just, it, it, uh, what? You know, there's just so much what the fuck in yeah. this one. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's just like, like, like the internet historian said twins, like the horror version of twins, and it still doesn't oh, yeah. explain. Which I, I mean, didn't think was a real thing when you first yeah. told me. Oh, yeah. Nikki didn't believe me that Twins was an actual movie. Well, he he said some, oh, Twins. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then he explained the plot of the movie. And I was like, well, you're just fucking making all this yeah, shit up as you go. Yeah, she thought that I was just fucking with her. Because <laughs> that does not sound like a real movie. <laughs> it's I'm gonna it's have the realest. To watch it. Still hasn't seen it. so Maybe I'll have to do like a review. <laughs> Maybe. But um, this was our reaction to Clock Tower Explained. Explained. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, go check out Story Mode. Mm -hmm. Internet Historian is a great creator and is fucking hilarious. So yeah. go give Story Mode love. That channel is wonderful and kind of flying under the radar a little all bit, it seems. All of his channels, if you can find them. Yeah, are great. Yeah. yeah, everything Internet Historian is really, really funny and, and uh, insightful yeah. in its own special way. Um, so go give some love to, to Internet Historian and story mode hopefully you will enjoy this video enough that you will like it and you will subscribe to our channel and that would be fantastic if you did that yeah and if you have any recommendations for us you can drop that in the comments below or in the description we will have a link to our discord and we have a link on there where you can do reaction requests you can hang out with us you can talk to other people fire yeah memes. we have a cool community on discord uh, as well as youtube here which if you're just joining us now, thank you. I'm glad that you're here. But you can suggest videos down in the comment section. Feel free to engage with people down in the comment section because they love to talk about the content that, that we react to and video games and lore of all these different things. We have a really great community, so welcome Which if we're you're very new to that. For. Yeah, and thank you if you are a part of it. Yeah. But for this video, I think that's going to do, do it. See y'all. And then it stays like that. Yeah. So funny. It looks grumpy like the grumpy guy. Are you grumpy? <laughs> Ow! That cat's a damn vampire.